Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name again is Chad Godoy and today we're going to do a simple data entry tutorial that will help other people like people who specialize in lead generation to extract emails inside LinkedIn. So you, if you're interested to know how you're going to pull out people's email inside LinkedIn, let's get started with this video. Okay guys, as you see in this document, what we're going to do today is we're going to find out the emails of the CEO and founders of e-commerce agencies inside LinkedIn. So we're going to make sure to put the following data. Number one, their name. Two, their email address. Three, their LinkedIn link. And four, their, the company that they're working for or the company that they built because we're going to get um, the emails of the CEO and founder. So technically, these are people, our business owners, no? Okay. So we're going to put them inside the strategy sheet. As you can see, I already done um, the first two and we're just going to you know repeat the process in order for us to really show you how you're going to put, uh, how you're going to extract those data inside LinkedIn. Let's get started. Okay, as you can see, I'm inside Sales Navigator. I'm going to use Sales Navigator in order for me to find out people. Uh, that corresponds on that specific industry but you can also do this if you don't have or you don't use sales navigator your simple um, LinkedIn profile no you don't need to worry about it so as you can see I also I put some filters I in, I included that their title should be like chief executive officer or founder and make sure that my keyword is also indicating that I'm looking for e-commerce agency so I already done that part. As you can see on my, uh, I, the, the LinkedIn Sales Navigator gave me like 15,000 results of people who are more related to that kind of search, like that kind of keyword. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to find out these people email address. So we're going to start with Chase because I've got, already got the first two like uh, Mr. Marius and Mr. Edward and I'm, I'm going to, you know, um, go for chase uh, this time so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a simple tool um, here in my browser that name SalesQL browser extension so this tool if you press it it can actually see the email address of people inside LinkedIn like for, for Edward uh, for Marius you can see Mr. Rosell at logicommerce.com. Let's enlarge that. And Edward, which is ed.ezoc at gmail.com. So for Chase, um, we already got Chase. Okay. Next is Stephanie. All right. As you can see, for Stephanie, you don't see their, uh, you, you don't see her email address. So what you're going to do is just click this plus button in order for her email to show up. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to copy that email and we're going to paste it on our strategy sheet. And then click Stephanie and copy her first name. See, it's very simple. <laughs> and then copy her, like her link and link. So the reason why we're copying uh, we're copying her link and link is that when we decide to you know connect with this person or or you know message her we can easily uh, go to link in her, her link in profile so we don't need to search for her um, we can we can just you know click this link and go to her or to her profile and then you know if you want to connect with them or if you want to send them a message you can easily uh, do it so we're also going to copy um, her company, like Hello Earth. Her company is Hello Earth. Wow, Hello Earth. And then, if you have an additional information that you want to get, for example, like how many years um, she founded like Hello Earth, you can also put that uh, on the Excel sheet because there will be a time that you're going to reach out for these people 
and what you're going to do is to say something about them like ha- like how many years uh, she she founded um hello earth her company and make that as your personal first line when you reach out or when you connect with her and that could you know result um for them to easily acknowledge your request because you know when you say good thing about people um it happens that you know they easily you know accept you as their connection rather than like just adding them randomly without even saying a personal note <laughs> so that will that that will help you so let's uh let's search for another email let's say Ka- karin ayami we're going to click the browser extension sales ql and then click the plus button and then copy her email so she has three emails like you can copy her main work you can copy her personal or or work so she has three emails so it's up to you if you want to put you know every email that she has so in our case yeah let's do it because it's very um, important you know for us to get those email address you can just like put a code for space where we are see it's very easy if you want if you're going to reach out to these people the importance of this task is that when you want for example when you want to reach out with Karen you don't like you can easily reach out her via her email address and also via LinkedIn so you have two options so if she did not respond in your first reach out like you reach out in in her LinkedIn you can also email her about uh, what you want to do if you like if you're selling something or you're selling your service um, or you're doing cold email outreach because these tasks are commonly um, done by um, agencies who want to sell their service via cold email outreach so chances are um, they will go in to respond you if you increase the number of platforms that you that you reach them now for example like emails LinkedIn or Facebook like they're, they're going to get uh, you're going to get easily noticed because um, you have multiple platforms so I'm going to copy this one and then uh, her company okay. what is her company education quality and accountability office strategic communication at head first consulting like that is her company head first consulting Head first consulting. Okay, as you can see, and we're not going to fill this up because we're going to, you know, use our whole, the whole day if we're going to fill this up. But you, uh, you can see, um, we all, we're almost done uh, with the process. All you need to do is to install Sales QL. In your browser extension whatever you're using whether you're going to use firefox opera mini or or google chrome it is uh it has um sales extension or or it has an extension in your browser so don't forget you know to go to this website and i'm going to leave the link in the description below so you can easily access what type or what, what kind of website they have <laughs> and it, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more information about lead generation. Thank you and have a nice day.